Hello, I'm Big Ezra Chan here, and welcome back to the Harry Potter series. We are playing Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets because I originally did Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone quite a while back, and once again, this is the PlayStation 1 version. We've got a couple of languages to choose from. We're going to choose all American. I don't know why the American flag's there because I'm, I'm not American. <laughs> they could have at least changed the flag, but it's all good. Now, I'm going to start a new game. Um, those are just a couple of like test files and um, I might end up get, talking about some of that in a minute. Um, I'm just going to start, jump right into the game. We've got little like, well actually first it's going to talk about autosave isn't it? Yeah. So this game introduces an autosave feature which makes it like automatically a lot better than the first one. Because the first one you have to find save points and save like manually. But this one does it automatically. As the name implies, makes it so much better. But yeah, starting off the book just like in the first game. Harry Potter's first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry was very eventful indeed. Along with his friends Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry had managed to defeat Lord Voldemort, the greatest dark sorcerer of all time. But now Harry was back at number four Privet Drive. He was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic. Then, one evening towards the end of the summer holidays, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Dobby warned Harry not to return to Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts! If Harry Potter goes back, he will be in mortal danger. There is a plot, Harry Potter. A plot to make most terrible things happen. Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Ron Weasley and his brothers Fred and George arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. Harry told them all about Dobby's warning. Very fishy. I reckon old Dobby was sent as someone's idea of a joke. Can you think of anyone at school with a grudge against you? Draco Malfoy. Eventually, they landed at Ron's house, the burrow. Touchdown! Ron's mother, Molly Weasley, marched across the yard and came to a halt in front of them. She didn't look pleased. Bed's empty, no note, car gone. Out of my mind with worry. It seemed to go on for hours, and Mrs. Weasley had shouted herself hoarse before she turned to Harry. Very pleased to see you, Harry, dear. Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Come on, Harry, let's go. And they did. And they did. <laughs> And yeah, that basically means that it's saving for us. It's awesome. So we don't actually start off at Hogwarts this time around. Which, um... Nice change of pace. Time for a change of pace! to my home. It's not much. I think it's brilliant. Thanks, Harry. We call it the burrow. Come on, Harry. If the goal is not the attic door again, we've got to try and find another way in. Oh, yeah. And uh, our wand's starting to go off. I see Dad has placed some crates in the garden. Why don't we use them to climb up onto the roof and then into the open attic window? Seeing you've been stuck at the Dursleys for so long, you can practice your knockback jinx on the crates. Remember, you need to press the X button to cast. It works exactly how it did in the previous game. Nintendo. Like literally like the everything it is just exactly the same, like control wise and everything, so yeah. <laughs> Try and prependo these crates with your knockback jinx. Remember, press the X button to cast. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, we want to get up to there where the window's open on the roof. And um, we've got these little, like, chickens here that we can chase after. <laughs> so what you want to do... 
Can you? Oh, you can't just do. Okay. Now the other one, Ronald Weasley. I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Oh dear. Mum's really not happy, and I think we should avoid her. But let's climb up onto the roof and jump in through the attic window. Watch me, and then follow. To climb onto a crate, walk up to it, and use the up directional button. So after playing um, Spyro 2, Ronald Weasley reminds me of Hunter so much, because it's just, it's like, watch me do okay, it first, and then do it yourself. <laughs> push into the small crate to climb on top, and then run over the gap to auto-jump. Oh uh, yeah, pretty much just like the first game, which is also just like Zelda. <laughs> but that that's fine to be honest. I I felt like the first game was fine as is. So yeah, I'm glad that they stuck with it. I guess. Right, we need to calm down the ghoul. He's banging and dropping pipes, and he's driving Mum mad. Use your directional buttons to move the chest. Try and catch 60 pipes before they land on the floor and make a terrible racket. Right, Harry, let's get to it. Okay, so this, you just have to catch the pipes as he throws them. I find it kind of weird. Like, I haven't played this game, like, since um, my latest console. Like, since around the time where the latest console I owned was a PS1. So it's been, like, for, oh my god, like... 17 years maybe? I don't know, 15, 16 years? So I haven't played this in a very long time. And um... So the, I, I, the first time in a while, like the first time in a long time I played it was the tests that I did where I had like I think 7%. Which is when I realised that for a Harry Potter game, um, they have like a bunch of random like stuff that is completely different to the main game right at the beginning of this game and it's so weird. Nice so we work, Harry. That'll shut him up for a while. Thanks for helping with the ghoul. Ah, oh, that's much quieter. Now I need you boys to denome the garden for me. Go find Mr. Weasley. He's by the shed messing about with non-magical junk. Maybe we can tell him what the function of a rubber duck is. That would be very useful. But yeah, so now, um, we're actually next is something that's kind of Harry Potter-ish, but like after that we do something like a completely new mini game again. It's really weird the way this game is set up, and uh, right, let's go find Dad. I still I still like it, but I can't help. I I feel like that if this was my first time playing it, I would have found it like really weird that the whole change in gameplay thing. I can't, I can't remember how I felt about it like all these years ago. I, I do remember finding one thing annoying, and um, we'll get to that when we get to that. But. Dad leaves his junk everywhere. It drives Mum mad. Try smashing these barrels with a fully charged knockback jinx, so we can get through the gate. So yeah, as I did before, you can hold it down and just yeah. We've got jelly beans in this game, and uh, I will be going for 100% in this game as well. Um, I don't actually remember where everything is because I haven't played this in ages. But, um, I mean, I got through the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And 100% in that in my Let's Play, and I never even 100% in that game before, so I only played it once. So, it should be fine because from what I remember, once you finish this game, you can backtrack to er older areas, but I think it specifically makes it so you backtrack to areas that are um, hey, needed look. for 100%. Ginny's over by the Puffs game patch. Why don't you go and chat to her? She's been a bit shy lately. I wonder why. I'm off to see what Dad's up to. Now this game doesn't do a very, very good job of saying it, do, um, showing it. Um, it literally like all you get was like the context of like Ron right there but um uh, basically Ginny come kind of like Harry nice to meet you I'm Ginny I'm just looking after a puff game making sure that Fred and George don't use it as a bludger when they play Quidditch guide the puff game over to the bushes and it'll eat them revealing every flavor beans that you can collect beans can be used to buy famous witches and wizards cards from Fred and George at Hogwarts 
guide the puff again over to the bushes, it'll eat them, and you may be able to find a famous witches and wizards card. Whenever you get a wizard card, it is put into your folio magi. Press the select button. This will show you the folio magi and the wizard cards you've collected at that point. There are two types of famous witches and wizards cards. The silver cards and the four special gold founder cards. So yeah, if I press select, there we go. So you've got 24 cards to collect. And obviously this was from um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone as well. So we... Oh, okay, he's eating this one over here. Okay, that, that, that's fine too. You do you. But yeah, um, like, um, in the, in the um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, like the, um, the film... Um, Harry tries talking to Ginny and then she just runs off. <laughs> um, I believe this is actually the first time you actually see Ginny because she wasn't actually in the first film as well, which is pretty cool. You get a bigger insight in um, Ron's family in this game. Because, I mean, we start off at their, the place they live, you know, their, well, their home. Harry, here's a famous Witches and Wizards card. Felix Somerby. Best find Ron, Harry. He's gone off to see Dad, I think. It's this way. Why is she holding her head? <laughs> That's kind of a weird running animation. I like it. Um, yeah, we're gonna get the rest of these just because, like, beans, you know. I'm not sure if it's those specific patches that you have to um, get him to eat for the wizard card. I think it's literally once he grows a certain size, you just get the wizard card. So you don't have to worry too much about trying to guide him to certain patches. Though I'd recommend just trying to eat all of them anyway because, well, it's jelly beans, you know. She just said that you can use them for things, so why not, you know. Uh, yeah, something that you might actually remember that I said in um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Where did that jelly bean go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was, um, I'd only watched the first five Harry Potter movies, and um, I found Order of the Phoenix pretty boring, and then I just stopped. And the only book that I read was the third one. Well, it's been quite a few years since that playthrough, and um, while I haven't read um, any more of the books... I can tell you that I have actually watched all of the films now. Okay, there's no more stuff here, so we can move on. The fifth film wasn't actually as bad as I remembered, and I'm glad that I continued watching because Half Blood Prince is like my favourite film now, so. Hello, Harry. I'm Arthur Weasley. I was wondering if you'd help me denome the garden. It's just through the gate, but you'll need the denoming gloves to grab the gnomes. Unfortunately, I seem to have lost them under all this junk. Use your Wingardium Leviosa spells to charm and move the junk. Holding the X button. And of course, we had this spell in the first game, so we just get it like right off the bat in this game, which is pretty cool. Triangle button to drop it onto the rocks and break the junk up. I don't think like everything from the first game carries you can over though. Them and drop them onto the rocks, please. Maybe we can find those gloves. I know I left them around here somewhere. It's more so the more important ones. Just like ones. the dance class last year. Better find the denoming gloves. We can't denome without them. Lift up the crates and then drop them on the rocks below. I can't wait till we get to the we part where these guys the stop the talking gloves. because I want to like... <laughs> I, I'm in the middle of like commentating and all of a sudden I have to stop everything I say. And then I feel that's like... Right, Harry. That's Keep right Harry. Harry. Keep going. Um, I feel like I just we forget what I'm saying the after I've listened answer. to what they said. Um, oh yeah, you only have to hold the X button. Forget that. You have to drop them on the little rocks That's as well, right, otherwise they going. won't get destroyed. And there has to be a certain height. You can't just drop it and be like, oh yep, this was gonna work. No, you have to actually put it a certain height and then drop well it. Done, Harry. And the, nice the gloves are always you in the last the crate. Gloves. Here they are. Dad out, Harry. You've also learned how to charm objects. 
I'm sure that will come in very handy. The sooner we deny the garden, the sooner we can get some sleep. I'm exhausted. Right, and now this is the mini game I was talking about, but um, I found a bit iffy when I first played this game, and I don't know how well it's going to go like this time around.